the three-year application of information and communication technology for educational development, spearheaded and financed by the Taiwan government, in collaboration with the Ministry of Education, is slowly drawing its curtains as the last three schools earmarked to receive smart classrooms under the project officially cut the ribbons for their new educational resource room. The Mikud Secondary, Library Boys and Canaries Primary Schools are the latest recipients of multimedia classrooms outfitted with state-of-the-art interactive technology to facilitate teaching and learning. At the handing over ceremony held at the Canaries Primary School, Ambassador of Taiwan to St. Lucia, His Excellency Peter Shen, expressed his gratitude to the people and government of St. Lucia for embracing their efforts to support bringing cutting-edge technology into the educational experience of students. Today uh, shows the completion of our smart classroom program and it's also open a new door for cutting-edge education experience. And I'm pleased to say a total of eight multimedia smart classroom have been set up in St. Lucia this year. District Education Officer for District 8, Joel Charles Shalmine, thanked the ambassador and the technical team of the Taiwanese Embassy for choosing to be part of reforming St. Lucia's education system by providing the tools and the capacity needed to meet global trends and the standards. We urgently need to rise to and keep up with the pace of the new tech era or else we are doomed for failure. So, we thank you for your interest in the progress and reform of our education sector to be more 21st century relevant and compliant. It is without contention that an educated and skilled populace is tantamount for a thriving economy. The Sufre Comprehensive Secondary School, the Sufre Primary School, and now the Canaries Primary School have benefited from your generosity, your outreach, your assistance to schools in St. Lucia. I am very certain that this room will be put to the use intended. It will enrich teaching practices and make the learning environment more fun and interesting for the students. The Mikud Secondary and Library Boys Primary Schools bring the number of schools with multimedia classrooms to eight. The parliamentary representatives for Mikud North and Library both highlighted how Taiwan's intervention put St. Lucia on a positive trajectory for the continued and complete transition to embracing technology within the classroom. I cannot get tired of saying thank you to you, Ambassador. Um, we saw what COVID did. COVID really exposed the fragility and some of the deficiencies um, in the traditional classroom setting. Uh, this goes a long way, as we say, in terms of incorporating the technology into the classroom. It goes a long way to bridging that gap in terms of allowing children access to class, even if they're not physically present in the classroom. The smart classroom with a computer, interactive whiteboard and projector has changed the process of learning, make it more exciting. That through technology, it transports students to another place. There will still be need for teachers because teachers must accompany the students on that journey of discovery and learning. So there are lots of things that it does. It saves time, all those notes. Visuals are very powerful and it keeps students engaged and the teacher can now experiment and have the flexibility with a lot of different aspects. Over the past three years, the Taiwanese Embassy ICT for Educational Development Project has provided over 25 schools on the island with technological equipment and smart classrooms while simultaneously building teacher capacity in the use of the new technologies to enhance instruction. From the Communications Unit of the Ministry of Education, Sustainable Development, Innovation, Science, Technology and Vocational Training, I am Daniel Dubois reporting.